Let's talk about alpha and beta receptors. First off, what is the main difference between alpha and beta receptors? You can use this simple memory trick. Start out by writing A, B, C, D. So looking at this, alpha receptors cause constriction and beta receptors cause dilation. So that's just a fun memory trick to help you remember the difference. Now let's look at the difference between beta-1 receptors and beta-2 receptors. Now beta-1 receptors are mainly found in the heart's muscle tissue. This is easy to remember because B1 think we only have one heart, where beta-2 receptors are mainly found in smooth muscle cells like the lungs. So beta-2 think we have two lungs. Now let's look at why this is important for you to know in pharmacology class. Let's take albuterol as an example. This is a beta-2 agonist, meaning it stimulates beta-2 receptors. Well, looking back at our memory trick, does this involve the heart or does it involve the lungs? This involves the lungs. Remember, beta-2 think two lungs. Now, this is a beta receptor, not an alpha. So based on our memory trick here, does this medication cause dilation or constriction? This medication causes dilation. So. Albuterol, which is a beta-2 agonist, causes dilation of the lungs, also called bronchodilation. So you can see how understanding the receptors can actually help you understand what a medication does. If you're taking pharmacology class, you will love these pharmacology flashcards. It allows you to test your knowledge on the must-know information for your pharmacology class. You can find them on my shop, Nurse in the Making. Happy studying, future nurses.